What's up, YouTube? Today I got another performance review for you guys on these attack, attack and one attack low 2.0. Man, names super long, but yeah, so I don't have any game footage for you guys on this performance review. I lost my tripod this week. It's just been, it's been a crazy game, like week of late games. So I've just been taking naps and just forgetting stuff. So no game footage, but I will get another tripod and we'll be back on with the next shoe. Um, yeah, but let's jump right into it. So starting with our traction, we have waves and a little bit of herringbone throughout and it was actually really really solid like i honestly coming from an one i wasn't expecting really great traction but i didn't have any issues like i didn't have any major slip outs i had times where you know i felt uneasy and i did have to wipe consistently but it was a really really good traction setup so i did enjoy this even on my super dusty core, it's still going that way. It's, it's pretty crazy. I don't I don't know if they're ever gonna clean it up. So, but yeah, these did a really good job. Onto our cushion. So this is under or Under Armour. This is An One's Harmonix setup, which is just a regular EVA foam wrapped around a little bit of Boost. And let me tell you, I enjoyed this setup so much. It was mad comfortable. It felt like just the perfect amount of boost for me like there was a little bit of extra stuff coming back when i was stepping it felt good it had a ton of pro impact protection and like just walking comfort man it felt like that that feeling that i'm going for is walking on clouds when i'm walking and it gave me that it was super enjoyable i think most people will love this setup because it's not too much boost and it's not like a little tiny strip. So like we're somewhere in between and it feels really good. Onto our fit. So I went true to size. Um, this one piece booty upper, I thought it was gonna give me some issues and the shoe looks kind of small when you buy it, but it honestly was pretty close to perfect. Uh, the materials right here, all this soft touch cloth material is super stretchy. So along with making the shoe super easy to put on, it was amazing for the width of my foot and just keeping me held into the shoe really good. The length was really good. I was right at the edge there for my true to size, but still really good. I, I, I do like that kind of fit. So I would say for my regular footers, go true to size for my wide footers. Definitely, you want to consider going up half a size. The material does stretch out a ton. But, you know, definitely, um, yeah, I definitely would go up half a size. <laughs> Just because of the snug fit. It is a snug fit because of this material. Just, it works out really good. But um, yeah, so overall, up the upper, it's knits, soft touch material. And there is a ton of padding here in the heel, which is super nice. It didn't make it harder to put on. It did feel really good. And unlike a lot of shoes, it didn't push my toe up to the front, or at least it didn't feel that way. So it's really solid. As far as, you know, support and lockdown, it wasn't, it didn't feel like the most supportive shoe, shoe because this material, it is super super soft you know and then they have no heel counter back here um it's just the regular material the base isn't extremely wide at all i didn't really have any instances where i had to test it out like i didn't have i didn't feel wobbly at all and i didn't get into spots where i could have rolled my ankle but you know i would say it's you know it's average it you are locked in there because the fit on this one, you know, this one piece upper and it, you know, you don't need all that extra support material 
to have a great shoot. But overall, super hoopable shoe. I did have so much fun in this because the grip and the cushion setup were really solid. It did surprise me in this upper. I, I was expecting a shoe that's really hard to put on, something like the LeBron Soldier 14s. Um, but super easy to put on, get on and off. The lacing system was really cool. It's kind of traditional with you know this extra eyelet back here. It doesn't really do anything. I, I guess it holds, holds you back into the shoe a little bit better than normal, but I think the fit does that on its own. The materials on here, I thought were really great for the price point. These are retailing at $130 on N one's website. So go ahead, check that out. I would pick these up at this price, you know, just if anything to just support the brand, man. They make a good shoe. I had a ton of fun in these. And not to mention like the colorways that they are making these in are crazy. Like I, I really enjoyed that most of all. But yeah, just a real short one. I will have some footage so you, so you guys can see in the next shoe. Not this one. I, I definitely played more than I should have in these because I had the cushion. I just enjoyed the cushion so much. I played way, way more than I should have to test these shoes out. It was just, it was a fun, it was a fun shoe. But uh, let me know what you guys think down in the comment section below. Are you going to pick these up? If you like the content, you want to see more performance reviews, subscribe. And besides that, guys, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.